Hello, this is Michael, and welcome to the Medlock Method Chinese Language Builder. 你好，我是邱老师。And are we still shopping, 邱老师 ？That's right, my Dongqi. But today we are going to 买衣服 Buy clothes. That's right. Not my favorite activity, but、um, is it not? <laughs> no, but people object to me running around naked. <laughs> okay, here. 您在找什么特别的东西？我能帮您吗？ So this is a fairly typical situation when you enter any shop. You get、yeah. well, I say assaulted by a、uh, sales assistant, but、no, a little bit over the top. Really, they're asking you, "Is there anything special that you're looking for?" Yeah, yeah. 您在找什么特别的东西？特别的东西 ，special things. 什么特别的东西 ？What kind of special things? Okay, you're looking for. And can I help? Yeah, 我能帮您吗？ Okay, 我能帮您吗 ？So we'll start off with a reply that I think we almost always give. I'm just looking. The Chinese way of saying it is, I am just sui bian looking. Yeah, sui bian is um follow the convenience. So it's at this time it's my convenient to have a look. So let's break this sentence into two parts. First, how do you say following my convenience looking? 随便看看 ，and you use can can. Yeah, just look around, have a look, can can. And I'm just. I'm just. 我只是，只是 only. Put that together. Tell me, I'm just looking. 我只是随便看看。Of course, sometimes you really are looking for something in particular,、mm-hmm. and we're going to say I'm looking for a sweater. Now, first, we need the vocabulary for sweater. 毛衣 And looking for 找 Tell me, I'm looking for a sweater. 我在找一件毛衣 And 一件 Is the, the count- measure word? The measure、counting. word is counting、uh, sweaters or clothes. Should I say usually, 一件毛衣 Let's try with some other clothes. Start off with shirt. Can you tell us how to say shirt? 衬衫一件衬衫 Tell me, I'm looking for a shirt. 我在找一件衬衫。Let's try and expand that a little bit. With I'm looking for a shirt for my father. How would you say for my father? 给我爸爸。Tell me, I'm looking for a shirt for my father. 我在找一件衬衫给我爸爸。You can have "ge" someone to for someone. You can have it before the verb. For example, 我在给我爸爸找一件衬衫 as well. You can do that as well. But the connotation is a bit different. If you have "ge" in front of the verb, it's more like for someone. You're doing it for him for his favor. Oh, he can't come to the shop, so you're doing、mm-hmm. it for him instead. Yeah. And you're putting the ant gay is more like as a gift. Ah,、oh, it's a prezi of some kind. Yeah,、mm-hmm. it's like a present you you you, you give to him. So, 我我在找一件衬衫给我爸爸 is more like I'm looking for a shirt as a present, or I'm buying it for him. I'm buying and to, to in order to give it to him. Okay. Okay. Let's add some more vocabulary. How do you say scarf, Chelasha? And the counting word is, the measuring word is 条一条围巾 and 条 is for something that's long and flowing. No, yeah, and wide, winding.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, 一条围巾 Tell me, I'm looking for a scarf for my mother. To give it to her? Yes. I'm 
And how about trousers, or if you're on the other side of the Atlantic, pants? Coats, <laughs> but trousers are long, therefore it's also 一条, so it's 一条裤子. Do you remember how to say little brother? 弟弟. Tell me, I'm looking for some trousers for my little brother. In English, it says some trousers, but in Chinese, it would be 一条裤子, one. One. For us, it's only one, not some. Okay, 一条裤子. And how about skirt? 裙子 And 一条裙子 But some people say 一件裙子 as well. This, I have to remember 裙子 before it was long. You cover your, you know, up down to your ankles. But now, it could be short, so it could be 一件裙子. And yeah, now it could be more of a thick belt. <laughs> <laughs> so then it will be 一件裙子. And longer ones, you know, long ones you can say 一条裙子. Okay, so 裙子 nowadays 都可以. 条,一件都可以, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's use that with girlfriend. First remind us how to say girlfriend. 女朋友. Tell me. I'm looking for a skirt for my girlfriend. 我在找一条裙子给我女朋友。And I know the ladies listening to this will be thinking, yes, yeah, sure, that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, you might be surprised. <laughs> All things are possible. Yeah. Okay. And the last one for the moment, we're going to have tie. It's a typical present to give, isn't it, to a man? Yes, very creative. <laughs> yeah. 一条领带. 领带. The previous one we had girlfriend, let's have boyfriend. Can you remind us of that, please, Jia Lasha? 男朋友. Tell me, I'm looking for a tie for my boyfriend. That's more likely to happen. <laughs> yeah. Very creative. Yeah. Okay. Now, you want to check out the things. Yeah. So you ask the shopkeeper, 我能看看那个吗? Or 我能看看那件吗? Can I have a look at that? Can I have a look at that item? Yeah. 那件 definitely is a close, yeah, you know, and 那个 is a something more general, that thing. Yeah, when I Right, sticking to this theme, we're going to ask, can you bring that one over for me to have a look? Mm -hmm. But the way you say it in Chinese is quite a bit different from that. Mm -hmm. it's, this is one of the bar patterns, isn't ba, it? Bar, mm -hmm. And here you'd say, able bar that item take give me look <laughs> <laughs> i think we'd better break that up into small bits <laughs> <laughs> right let's start off with give me look give me look take that item to me using ba ba na jian na gei wo Okay, here's a 拿给我, to, to give it to me, take and to give it to me, 拿给我, 把那件拿给我. Let's put that together. Ask me, could you please let me have a look at that item? Yeah, in the Chinese way, could you please, we don't really say please that often, so we use 能. Are you okay. able? Yeah, are you able? So, simple way is, is that, 能把那件拿给我看看吗? 能 ma Okay, could you please? 能吗? Though we don't have said please, but it has the connotation. 能把那件拿给我看看吗? 
So it sounds like please to Chinese people. Yes, we, we just don't say please. We're not, we are not in this kind, we are not the kind of people to say please all the time. <laughs> Continuing on the theme, we often want to try it on. Mm -hmm. So we ask, able to try it on? How do you say try it on, Chalasha? Shi Chuan. Shi is to try, and uh, Chuan is wear. So, oh. Another Makes case sense. of Chinese being totally logical. Yeah. Ask me, can I please try it on? Neng shi chuan ma? It just use neng. Neng shi chuan ma? The reply, we hope, will be, of course. Have a go at this yourself. Tell me, of course. Of course, you can say 当然能, but 可以 is softer. 当然可以. And of course, they'll direct you to where the changing room is. So they're going to say, the changing room is over there. Mm -hmm. First, how do you say over there? 在那儿. And changing room? 试一间. 试一间在那儿, 试, as we say, 试穿, 试穿, 试, it's a try, and 一 is close, and 间 is room, so 试一间, try and close room. Again, the logic is beautiful. <laughs> of course, Chinese, we are logical people. <laughs> yes. 试一间在那儿. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you're not allowed because... Yes, some discounted items, it's more potluck and hard luck if you don't like it or it doesn't fit. Yep. So you might hear, and you'll find this bit peculiar, mm -hmm. sorry, special priced items can't be tried on. Yeah. First of all, sorry, it's also a very uh, Chinese way to say it. We, sometimes you say, dibuqi, of course, sorry, but sometimes you, you might hear, it doesn't mean not good meaning. It means I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. It's the way Chinese people to decline in a, a request. Okay. Let's uh, break up the whole sentence into bits. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with the back end of the sentence then. How do you say can't be tried on? 不能试穿. 不能试穿. And special priced items? 特价品. 特价, 特风特别, special. And 价风, 价钱, price, special price. And 品 is items. 特价品. So put those two together. Tell me special priced items can't be tried on. In English, you said cannot be tried on, but Chinese only said special items cannot try on. We don't have to have the past tense, and because we have this uh up front already. Okay, 特价品不能试穿. And let's have a stab at the whole sentence. Tell me, I'm sorry, special priced items can't be tried on. Using 不好意思. Okay. 太大了. It's too big. Mm. I'm always having that problem. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say, um, too small then? 
，太小了，太小了。It's your problem, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. The next one's my problem. Too loose. How do you say loose? Song. Tell me, it's too loose. Too loose. Let's expand this a bit.、Mm -hmm. Tell me, the shirt is too loose. This jacket is too loose. Too loose. The next word we're going to try is tight. 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 And let's expand with sweater. Tell me, this sweater is too tight. This jacket is too tight. And long. Long. Too long. Too long. And we're going to use scarf. Can you remind us scarf again, Chiarosha? Waitin. Waitin. Tell me, this scarf is too long. The next one it will be short, of course. 短，太短了。Mm -hmm. And we're going to use skirt. Hmm, that's what I said to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> skirt would be 裙子，裙子。Tell me, that skirt is too short. That. 那条裙子太短了。The next word we're going to use is wide, and now this is wide as in the style being wide. Quan,、mm、quan, -hmm. and this may often apply to something like a tie, like a kipper tie that you might not want.、Mm -hmm. Can you remind us of tie first? 领带，领带。Tell me, that tie is too wide. 那条领带太宽了。And the logical thing now would be narrow for style. 窄。And we're going to use trousers or pants. 嗯哼。裤子。Tell me. These trousers are too narrow. This trousers are too narrow. So that would be like drainpipe jeans or something like that, which unfortunately I'll never be able to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me either. <laughs> okay, let's move on to next slide. 有没有大一号的 ？Do you have big one number? <laughs> <laughs> so one number up. We go. Okay. 有没有大一号的 ？Oh, I hate having to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael would have the 大好几号 <laughs> many numbers. <laughs>、oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Many numbers up. Okay, 好几号 Okay. And of course, you can ask people. There's a possibility to say, "One number down." Or you could ask it in a slightly different way. You could say, "A bit bigger." Can you、yeah. remember how to say "a bit"? Dan, ask me. Do you have it a bit bigger? 有没有大一点的 ？And how about a bit smaller? 小一点。有没有小一点的 ？Now, something that unfortunately, if you're a Western person, you're going to have to ask for extra large. I'm really sorry, ladies. You're in for a bit of disappointment. There, are, 
if you take a small in the West, you're probably not going to take a small in China. <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you're just a sort of a medium build, fairly slim lady, you might actually find yourself taking large or extra large in China and Hong Kong. And the extra large would be 特大号. 特大号. Especially big. <laughs> Especially big number. <laughs> 特大号. You can always cut the labels out once you've bought them, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me, do you have extra large? And how do you think you would say extra small? Ask me, do you have extra small? Maybe you're lucky. Maybe you have a really, really super slim figure. <laughs> okay, let's move on. And sometimes, you know, you like the, you like something about this uh, clothes and may, you might not like it in other ways. So we are asking, 有没有其他, 其他 means other, 号码, 其他号码, other numbers. 有没有其他号码? Or you might want to ask, 有没有其他? Well, the other... sizes, yes. Yeah. 尺寸, 尺寸. So this will be if it's medium, large, extra large, rather yeah. than a particular number. Has a connotation, but mm -hmm. again, it's a mixed. Yeah, it's all mixed now. So, 有没有其他号码? Do you have other numbers? 有没有其他尺寸? Have we got other sizes? Yeah. Okay, let's just practice that one then. Ask me, do you have any other sizes? 有没有其他尺寸? And of course, you can say 有没有其他号码? Do you have other numbers? It also means other sizes. Do you remember how to say color? 颜色. Ask me, do you have any other colors? 有没有其他颜色? Another important thing would be you might not quite like the style. Mm. How would you say style? 是样. 是样. Ask me, do you have any other styles? 有没有其他式样? Or you might not like the fabric or the material that it's made of. Yeah, and that would be 布料. But it, 布料 definitely is fabric, because 布 means cloth, and 料 is material. So it's a cloth material, fabric. So you'd be asking if you silk or cashmere or cotton or yeah. whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask me, do you have any other fabric? Okay, so here, you like something and you don't like the other, you can ask if, if they have other colors or patterns or, or style or even fabric. Yeah, good. Let's move on to the next one. 这样搭配好看吗? 这样搭配好看吗? It says, you put this together, does it match with the, that? Yeah. 好看吗? 好看吗? Good looking or not? Yeah, 好看吗? And 搭配, 搭配 is, is uh, you put two or three different things together and to try to match with each other. Yes, it's match with, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and 这样 is in this way. So we match these items together to match with each other. In this way, is it good looking or not? 这样搭配好看吗? So in English is put together, does this look good? Yeah. 
Do this look good and put put them together. Yeah, 这样搭配好看嘛 And the theme that we're going to be following here is a bit like that, and about how the、um, the sales assistant would be talking to you, or a friend, for example, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. shopping yeah. with you would yeah, be yeah. talking to you. Yeah. Let's start off with this tie, matching with this shirt really looks good. So, in English, the more correct way will be saying this tie suits this shirt. Yeah. Let's break it into bits. First, really looks good. 真好看 Let's add this shirt. So this shirt really looks good. 这件衬衫真好看 And matched with, 搭配 Matched with this shirt really looks good. And this tie. 这条领带 Tell me, this tie matched with this shirt really looks good. This tie matched with this shirt really looks good. So it means that、uh, this tie really goes well with this shirt. Yeah, we bring out the good looking of the tie. And we're going to concentrate on this kind of pattern. Something、yeah. da pe, something else. Either looks good, looks terrible. Yeah. The next one we're going to use is not really fit. Doesn't look good. In Chinese, it says, 不太搭调不太搭调搭 we said 搭 is like matching with yeah and 调、mm-hmm. 调 it means tune is actually for music, so it doesn't match the tune, so it's not in the ha- harmony. Yeah, I think if we think of the word of harmony, yeah, and I think we can use that from, bring that from music, and we can have this idea in yeah. clothes yeah. as well. 不太搭调 it just it doesn't go in the same sort of feeling of it, so the tune、mm-hmm. just out of tune. Yeah, so 不太搭调 it doesn't fit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now practice a little. Tell me, this tie matched with this shirt doesn't really fit. This tie matched with this shirt doesn't really fit. This tie matched with this shirt And another way we could say doesn't look particularly good. How would you say that, Chalasha? 不怎么好看 And of course, here you can say 不怎么搭调 So not particularly in the same tune. And 不太好看 Not too good looking.、Mm-hmm. It's all the Chinese way to say、mm, not really. Yeah, 不怎么 or 不太 So one more time. 不怎么好看 Let's try playing around with the vocabulary a little、mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. Tell me, this trousers matched with this shirt is not particularly good. 这条裤子搭配这件衬衫，不怎么好看。Let's go to the opposite end of the scale. Let's say extremely pretty. 美极了，美极了。And again, we'll play with the vocabulary a little bit. Tell me, this trousers matched with this sweater is extremely pretty. This 裤子搭配这件毛衣
美极了。And now we're going to sit on the fence a little bit and just say,、oh, "It's all right." <laughs>、mm-hmm. It's all right. That's a safe way to say it. For example, 还好 still okay, still good, 还行 still go, <laughs> or even 马马虎虎 horse, horse, tiger, tiger. All this means, um, yeah. yeah. It's not offensive, but it doesn't really. Hmm.、Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 还好还行马马虎虎 Okay, let's start off using "hi hao,"、mm-hmm. and we'll again play with the vocabulary a little. Tell me, this sweater matched with this skirt is okay. This skirt matched with this skirt is okay. This skirt matched with this skirt. And this time we'll use 还行还行 Tell me, this skirt matched with this scarf is okay. 这条裙子搭配这条围巾还行 It means、um, yeah, okay. It, they, they do match, but、uh, yeah. bit non-committal. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Yeah, 马马虎虎 horse, horse, tiger, tiger. Means yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're ready to shop till we drop. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, don't get too upset if you can't take your normal size. <laughs> And don't forget to visit us at medlockchinese.com, where we have now over 100 lessons, nearly 40 hours of lessons available.